Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we're gonna to be going through a couple of uh, what I would call uncommon uh, real estate marketing campaigns that you can use immediately to try to drum up some business. And today we're also uh, joined by Travis Breton. Travis, can you hear me? I sure can. How are you doing today? I'm well. Good morning. How are you today? Uh, good. Getting the morning started. All right, perfect. So these these two campaigns, um, the first one uh, we will call it our move up campaign, our move up buyer campaign, and then the second one we'll call it our referral contest uh, campaign. Both can be used immediately to drum up business with not only your sphere of influence but also leads that have come in uh, recently or or really anytime. So. Uh, with that said, um, I'm going to pull up a couple of different uh, materials here for us to take a look at. So the move up campaign, um, basically the, what you want to be doing with anybody that you've done business with, of course, people that, uh, you know, you, you've sold, you've, you've helped them buy or sell a home is you want to make sure that you're keeping that information in your database. And so, you know, two, three, four, five years down the line, you need to be, of course, still communicating with those people. Super important. Um, the, the NAR data says that 67% uh, of people that buy, buy homes do so with referral, actually 69%. So, um, and, and you've got to be top of mind. So this is a reason to contact these people um, let them know that you have a program and this is something that they can take advantage of. So the first thing you want to do is you want to research your database and look for people that you sold a house to uh, over three years ago, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. Um, do a little bit of research on that house, produce a CMA, show an estimate of exactly what their home's worth. And since you sold them the house, you know what they bought it for. So you can, you know, give them a good analysis of where they are with their, with respect to their home value now, what their, uh, you know, how much their, their home's increased by. So very, very important to be able to, to keep track of that information and then go back to those people and let them know the information that you have. So of course, once you create a, a CMA, you want to follow up with phone calls, messages, all that kind of stuff. So the way that it works mechanically is I've actually made this real easy for everybody and I've actually created the, the letter itself. So I'm going to make sure that everybody uh, has this letter. And so here's the, here's the letter and you can do this two different ways. And I suggest doing it two different ways. Uh, put it into your drip campaign and send it out uh, via email to everybody in your, in your sphere. Um, but then also you want to make sure that, and, and for that, you're going to do a very generic one. Um, but then you want to specifically send a, a, a hard mail piece with a CMA. And so for that, this is the, you know, the, the uh, campaign letter template. So it goes like this. Hello, client. And it, really anything that is in quotes is what you're going to be manipulating and changing. So you'd say, hi, Bob. In reviewing my records, it looks like you've been in your home for over four, uh, four years or three or seven or whatever it was. Um, isn't it amazing how time flies? Out of curiosity, I took the liberty of running a market analysis on your home to see its current estimated value. You can see the analysis attached to this message. Or if, you know, obviously if it's a letter, it's going to be, you know, um, in, in the subsequent uh, package. Uh, did you know that your home's value increased by approximately whatever the percent is in the last whatever uh, uh, year period that was? That's a blank increase. So give them the information, put it right in front of them. Um, you can make really good decisions when you have good information. So um, that prospect may not have been hearing or may not have been thinking about that. And so um, to get back, get back in touch with that person and give them the information, put it right in front of them. They might say, oh my gosh, I didn't realize my home's gone up a hundred grand you know, in the last five years, it's amazing. So that's a really important thing to touch on. So then you go on to say, statistically, people move every four to seven years as we go through life's changes. But if you're thinking of moving in the uh, next 18 months, I wanted to let you know about my move up buyer program. When you sell your home with me and buy another one within 90 days, you'll get a $2,500 uh, 
uh, credit towards your closing costs so you can really move up on your next move. And of course, you're gonna know uh, the price point of the home, you're gonna know the amount of rebate that you would be willing to offer on that style of a home. Um, sometimes you could even do a one, you know, a percent, I'll reduce it by a percent, um, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but that's the, the basis of the program. Then of course you just end it, are you curious about what's for sale? If you'd like to access, access my customized home search tools, send me a quick message. Thanks, Kevin Lauren. P.S. If you have friends or family members who could benefit from my Move Up Buyers program, please tell them about it. I'd be happy to make this program available to them. So this is a really good way to, you know, really all these campaigns are just excuses to touch that person and to, you know, to make sure that they know uh, what's going on in, uh, in real estate. So Travis, do you have any, uh, any insights on this style of a campaign? Um, as far as insights, no, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty spot on. You can yeah. obviously, you know, cater to different things that, depending on what kind of demographic you're trying to reach. But I mean, this is, you know, it's a really good example. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, it's just, again, a reason to stay top of mind and, um, you know, a, a reason to give somebody a program that's it's something to talk about. It's something that they can refer. It's something that they can talk to other people about, right? It's not just like, oh, just call my friend, you know, Johnny's a real estate agent. It's, there is a, you know, there's something to, to, to talk about. There's something to discuss. There's something of value to offer. And so that's really the key that we always want to be doing is we want to stay top of mind and we want to offer things of value so that we're the agent that, you know, is giving something away in a CMA you know, a very customized CMA, that's a, that's really a nice piece of value. And so when that person, and we all, we all know how it is, everybody knows real estate agents, um, but you're going to go with the one that's top of mind. Travis talks about that a lot. You know, he knows, we all know tons of real estate agents, but you're going to talk to, and you're going to think about the one that you keep seeing in your Facebook feed, the one that you keep seeing on Instagram, the one that you keep getting an email from once a month. It's just that simple. So we got to be top of mind. Um, so the move up campaign letter, um, I'll make sure that everybody has that. And of course, I encourage all of you to manipulate it, make it personalized, you know, make it sound like it's something that you would uh, send out. And, you know, most of your, especially if you're for your, your sphere of influence, if you're keeping in track of your, or you're, you're in touch with your people, they know your, your personality. And so if you could kind of, you know, do little things that uh, make it really sound like you, that's going to go a long way, as you know, or like if you have a little saying or something that you say, put it in there, you know, that's how people remember you. And that's the name of the game here. So, um, and let's see, so uh, let me pull up our agent marketing dashboard. And let me just show you how we would use that specifically um, with our agent marketing dashboard. So let me just pull up an example one moment. And I know we've got Marcella with us, so we'll use Marcella. Good morning, Marcella. Okay, so the way that we would do that is, of course, we would go into our leads, we would go into our email drip, and we would add that as a new campaign. Okay, so um, this kind of a campaign um, is something that, you, you know, you could actually put it out monthly. Um, but the one cool thing about our, uh, our agent marketing system is we can create different campaigns. So this one, we could say this would be our uh, move up campaign. This is just an arbitrary number again. Let me just put we save it, and now it's part of our campaign list down here. So we want to add an actual uh, letter. We just go into the letters, we select that campaign. That's our move up campaign, and now we add a letter. And when do we want that to go out uh, from sign up? We can, you know, we can have that go out, you know, a couple days after somebody, you know, uh, signs up for our. Uh, to, to receive information from us. Super easy. And of course, mechanically, all we do is we highlight 
whatever we're going to put in there. We right click and copy. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Right click and copy, not cut. And then of course we just paste that right into this uh, body area of the letter. And we just paste it in. So we're not, well, I'm just gonna cancel that, but that's mechanically how we would set up an email uh, kind of a template. And again, that particular letter, we, didn't, we don't wanna send that out via email. This particular one, we'd have to change it a little bit because this is very customized to that particular person. We can make a, a very generic letter, no problem. And uh, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is referral, a referral campaign uh, contest. And so um, that's a little bit easier to do in a monthly newsletter. So, and then also, um, you know, you can put in any other, any other communications, um, as you know, into there. Um, so let me minimize this. Okay, and now let's talk about the referral contest. So this is just an easy way to get in touch with all of your sphere of influence. Again, just a, an excuse to touch them, excuse to say hello. Um, so the referral contest is basically, and, and I've seen agents do this once a month, I've seen agents do it once a year or by quarter. And I think quarterly is probably a good spot for, for most agents. Um, Travis, what do you think about, uh, you know, and it really does depend on your budget, but what, what's your feeling on frequency of the referral contest email? Um, I think it kind of depends on what you're going for and again, and your budget. So there's a, a pretty successful husband and wife team down, down in my area. And uh, they, they had started a referral contest years and years ago and it started out really small and they, they did one, uh, a yearly one. Yeah. And they, basically everybody that sold the house, they sold a home to, or, or, you know, sold a house or, got a referral from they would basically you know get entered into the contest and at the end of the year they gave away it was probably like a tv or something at the end of the year but they had a little uh a, a party basically invited everybody did their drawing gave them dinner and it's since grown to about 300 people i guess go to this thing and, and like all the clients look forward to it every year they're giving away trips and all kinds of stuff now. I mean, they're obviously doing very well, but they give away a ton of stuff now and some really big items, and and they have a ton of people show up. I mean, they have to rent out a pretty big venue. And is so that it's really something pretty crazy? But I mean, that was years and years of nurturing it. But For that's sure. how they get all their business though. And do they, Travis, do they, um, do you have to have given them a referral to come to the party or how does that work? How did they run it? Yeah, it was either they, uh, a person they sold a home to, so that's how they got new people over to the party. Okay. Or, or the referral. Got so it. It was, both, they would invite both of them. So every so, year it grew because they would sell homes to new faces and then invite those people and then get those people into the referral campaign basically so they're constantly growing that bait yeah and that's almost a combination between another technique that we talked about which is our uh client appreciation parties you know so, 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 exactly so some of our agents have been, you know have been real successful doing a, a yearly or a, or a, a you know twice a year uh, client appreciation parties where they, you know, they rent out the local pizza parlor or they, you know, you can do anything that really, uh, you know, accommodates your budget, of course, but that's, you know, kind of a, uh, they're doing a combination, you know, they're doing a, a referral kind of party and, uh, you know, just a, a client appreciation kind of a party as well. Yeah. And they really, you know, you wonder how much, how they can spend so much money. I mean, you, you look at some agents and you talk to some agents, uh, in, in any region and you ask them how much money they're spending on realtor.com or Zillow or anything like that. And some of these people are spending tens of thousands of dollars a month to buy weed. Right. These people don't do that. This is their sole source of gaining clients and, and maintaining business. So this is what they put all their money towards at the end of the year, basically, is 
is a, is a huge shindig with lots of prizes. Why the heck not? And they're probably yeah. honestly spending less. They probably are, yeah. And it looks great. It's, you know, that has a really good, you know, uh, perception, right? Yep. You know, you're the, you're the, you know, you're the real estate agent that, you know, has these extravagant parties, you know, that definitely, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the people want to be involved in, you know, they want to go. Right. So definitely right. keep them engaged. I mean, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So kind of leading up to that, maybe that's, you know, once you're, you, if you're getting started, maybe those are the kinds of things that, you know, you're going to, Hey, at the end of the year, once we close a couple of deals, we're definitely going to, you know, put back a tiny bit of dough to have this kind of a party and you got to make it, you know, cool. You got to have, you know, a uh, band play or, you know, something really cool. Um, and obviously people would want to come. So this is, yeah. you know, um, I, I was on a team, sorry. Oh, go ahead. More. When I first started in the business, I was on a team uh, out in Las Vegas and the team leader did a client appreciation party and he just, actually rented out a park um like a public park mm -hmm. you know you could you could pay to rent the space there and he had um uh you know like a little taco truck guy come and do the food uh he rented like a jump and like a, a bounce house and uh he did a little raffle so i mean it was kind of it wasn't that expensive thousand bucks you know yeah, it wasn't that bad. And running at the park, it was on a, like a Saturday afternoon or something during the summer. It was a nice day. So, you know, it, it was kind of cool. It was a family event, you know, bringing the kids and everything. Um, people that were at the park invited them over too. So, you know, that were going to the park. So, you know, something like that could work too. It doesn't have to be a dinner or something extravagant to start. You can start with something a little more simple and budget friendly. For sure. So the one thing I forgot to mention on the move up campaign and really any of these campaigns is, you know, you don't just send them out to, you know, the people in your sphere of influence. You can also do a boosted Facebook post and a boosted uh, uh, Instagram post. And you can put this information out to other people that aren't in your sphere. So just an easy deal while you're doing the program, put, you know, create a Facebook post and boost that post for 20 bucks or whatever the heck it is and put that information out to other people in the community. So, you know, not just the people in your sphere of influence see that. So that can be used both with the move up campaign and the referral contest. And so this is kind of cool when you do the referral contest, you know, put a picture of what you're going to give away. A picture is worth a thousand words, as they say. So, you know, it's kind of like, wow, look at that Weber grill. That thing's amazing, you know, um, or, you know, an iPad or what, yeah, it really doesn't matter what the heck you're giving away. Um, that's not the point. The point is to, you know, have a reason to contact people and to make sure that they know that this is going on. So um, let's see, I got another little slide here. So same thing, like I said, we're going to also want to put this thing as a, as a Facebook post. Same thing again, you know, do a nice little uh, graphic with a picture of what we're giving away and put that thing out on Facebook. Why the heck not? Uh, very inexpensive. As we all know, you can spend 20 bucks and get that thing out to, you know, a couple thousand people and at least put it in front of some people. And again, consistency is key. You know, don't expect to just, you know, do that once and have somebody uh, take advantage of it. It's, de it's definitely something that you have to build into your marketing program, build into your budget, plan for it, execute it, and be consistent. Um, so that is the uh, referral contest email template. Um, same thing, uh, wanted to reach out to you, let you know about my referral contest giveaway every qu quarter or month or whatever you decide. I give away a special prize to one of the people that refer me business. This quarter, I'm giving away a Weber grill worth 600 bucks. A referral qualifies as anyone you've been talking to that has expressed interest in buying or selling real estate in the next 12 to 18 months. The easiest thing to do is to refer me. So send that person an email and copy us both to connect us. I'll take care of the rest. For every email you send me, I'll enter your name, which means more referrals you send me, the more likely you are to win. Here's the rules. Uh, to enter, my giveaway, just send me a referral. For every referral, you get an entry to win. At the end of the quarter, I do a random drawing from the pool of contestants. 
I will announce the winner and will deliver the prize to them. Have a referral? Reply to this email. Looking forward to talking with you or connecting with one of your friends or colleagues. Let me know how I can help. So super easy. I've already done the work for you. Uh, created the email template. You just have to send it out. Um, and this is just extremely easy. So of, of course, you get to do, this is an excuse to touch your sphere of influence at least twice. Send them, or actually three times. You send them the, this email and or hard mail. You make a phone call and follow up. And then at the end of the quarter, when you actually do select somebody, then you go ahead and you post another uh, a post that's basically, hey, this is who won. And so it's another you know, touch. Uh, best thing to do is deliver it in person. Take a picture of the person with their new prize and then post that information, you know, send back out via email and you can even, you know, do a Facebook uh, post and make sure that uh, everybody in your Facebook uh, sphere also knows that this is going on. So what are you doing here? You're conditioning your uh, your your clients and your uh, your sphere of influence to be looking for this. They might not refer, refer you somebody the first quarter. They might see it two or three quarters down the line and then refer somebody. But they all they're going to know after you do this a few times. They're going to be conditioned. They're going to know that you do this. And then it's just literally you're just keeping yourself top of mind. That's nothing more than that. To be very honest. Um, so, uh, Travis, do you have any, uh, any, uh, comments about that? Um, uh, I say, uh, don't forget about Facebook live. I mean, if you're, uh, Ooh, yeah. leading up to the actual drawing, you know, letting everybody in the sheer know, Hey, Friday night, six o'clock, I'm drawing names out of a hat, you know, go Facebook live and show yourself drawing names out of a hat. I you love know? It. And then, you know, people can say, wow, this is, this is legit. They didn't just like pick their favorite client or something. They literally picked the name out of a hat. You know? Right. No, so, I love uh, that. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. That's, up, that's another yeah. touch. <laughs> yeah. Follow up with, you know, the, the mailer with the picture and everything else when you go to deliver the prize or there's another Facebook live there as well, delivering the prize or whatever. And then also following up with, you know, the newsletter. Hey, congratulations to the winner. For sure. And Facebook Live also records, correct? So if you do a Facebook... Uh, yes. Facebook does. Instagram does not. That sounds right. So, you know, it's the kind of thing where you, you do a live thing, but not everybody's going to see the live version of it. But then they can click on it later. It's going to be in your feed, I believe. Um, and then they can watch it later. Yep. And you can do it from your, your business page, too. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, that is something that we're going to have to do a little bit of experimenting with. And then um, that would be a great training as well. Just show people how to use Facebook Live. Because I know it's fairly new and uh, definitely gaining steam. And, you know, it's becoming a lot more popular. It's a very, very cool tool. So this is, you know, that's the basics of the two uncommon real estate uh, marketing campaigns that you can use. Literally start it today and drum up business, reasons to talk to people, reasons to get back in touch with people that you haven't talked with, um, an easy way to drum up business, especially right now over the summer. Um, you know, real estate's hot, uh, inventory's low. Get, that, get, get yourself out there and make sure that your sphere of influence know that you're the, you're really, you're the go-to real estate agent. Um, anything else to add, Travis? Um. No, I mean, either one of these campaigns can be, you know, modified a little bit to kind of meet your style. And um, if you don't want to do a move up, maybe you work with uh, older clients. Maybe you're doing a, a downsizing one. Yeah. You know, which is the same thing, you know, just obviously in reverse. But mm -hmm. um, just, you know, kind of think think about it a little bit. Um, you have the contact manager inside agent marketing if you don't have one. Um, that you're using a, a third party one, you do have one there. It has paths, it has everything you need to get this out at no cost, you know? So. Absolutely. Um, and then one thing that's really cool with agent marketing um, while we're talking about it is they now have 
um, automatic campaigns where if you, you know, set up an open house, it's going to email you all your open house collateral. So as long as you're automated, and if you're not, just call me and we'll, we'll make sure we troubleshoot it. But um, there are some, it's just getting better and better. Um, agent, the agent marketing system is, you know, they were just recently purchased by IDX broker and they are getting better and better all the time. So make sure you're utilizing the tools. Um, of course, the, uh, you know, the, the uh, help and the chat for that is amazing. Let me just pull up that so you guys don't forget. I've seen uh, some of the agents getting chat leads now from their, uh, from their uh, property website. Right. So again, uh, there's so, many, so many functions, you know, they have a text marketing feature inside of agent marketing that is also great for, uh, you know, sending this out to your clients as far as the referral campaign, you know, right. the, the contest. I mean, you could simply do a, a text blast and, and get it out there and get people to click on it, you know, pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. So it, and that's probably a great, you know, utilizing the text marketing uh, feature, utilizing some of the newer tools. I think that could be a great training for next week. And so um, everybody make sure that you tune in next week. We'll go through some of the newer tools with agent marketing um, as they add stuff. But that text is just too easy to use. Um, you know, you can use it in, con in, in combination with uh, searches and all kinds of stuff. So uh, let's definitely go through that next week. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Perfect. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, as always, if you have specific questions, don't hesitate to contact me or Courtney. Uh, my direct phone number is area code 949-285-7209. And I'm looking forward to helping everybody. Um, go out there, make it a great day. And thanks for joining us, Travis. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. Great day.